is Sunday and today is the day that I usually like to plan my week. I love a paper day planner, like absolutely love them. I've tried a bunch of different ones and picked up this one this year and really like it. A little charm that was a gift from someone here. And so on Sundays, I like to plan for my week ahead. There are certain things that I do throughout the week, like my workouts every morning that are kind of a non-negotiable for me because I know that they make me feel good. They lift up my spirits. They make me feel energized for the day. And those are excellent. I've been doing Sydney Cummings workouts. She's on YouTube. Her workouts are free. I'll put the link down in the description because her workouts are awesome. So I like putting those into my planner. I like putting my tasks for the week into my planner. And I also put in any, you know, special events or hangouts with friends or anything else that I know is coming up just so I can see it visually. And I have my weekly spread open in my planner sitting on my desk throughout the day because it helps to keep me on track and I really like checking off boxes. I don't know about you, but it feels really good to check off a little task. There was a little while where I got really into bullet journaling, which is a form of keeping track of your life and managing your tasks. I've gotten away from bullet journaling, but there's certain things that I like from bullet journaling that I put in my regular planner. So at the beginning of each week, I have a little section at the top where I list my workouts, my sales, and my listings. And I like to keep track of the bigger picture up in that section. And again, it's just another thing that helps to keep me on track, motivated, and I like seeing the bigger picture up there. Because Christmas is in two weeks, there are a few Christmassy things that I wanna get done this week, including picking up a couple remaining gifts, just a couple things for Paul and a couple things for friends, kiddos. I also wanna send my Christmas cards out. I really need to do that and get them in the mail so that they arrive hopefully before Christmas. So I actually got them sitting just over there. So that's gonna go into my planner for the week. As I go through each day in my planner, if there's something I didn't get done or get moved, I utilize a technique from bullet journaling and just like forward it and move it to the next day. That way I can see that I didn't get it done, let's say on Monday, and I just move it ahead to Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever other day makes sense for me. Are you a paper planner person? Are you a digital planner person? Are you just a go with the flow person? Let me know down in the comments. I also have another planner that I use for my content. That's a little all over the place because I had wild aspirations last week to do a couple more vlogs for Vlogmas. That didn't happen. We're back on track now. So I'm going to be thinking ahead to content for the week and how that also fits into my schedule. So let's plan. <laughs> We put up our tree yesterday and it makes me so happy. It makes me feel very festive. And I wanted to share a couple of ornaments that I added to the tree this year. I picked this up from a PFF. I had wanted one of these Barbie ornaments. I used to collect these dolls when I was a kid and unfortunately I don't have any of them anymore, but I learned that Barbie made these special ornaments, or I guess Hallmark made them of Barbie. And I saw that someone had picked one up recently. I sent her a message and she listed it on Poshmark and I picked it up and I love her. How cute is she? Also, if you've been following my journey on Poshmark and eBay and with reselling, you probably saw my Quick Lots half palette that I received and I got 11 of these banana split ornaments and somehow managed to sell 10 of them in July and August, like throughout the summer. I kept one for myself and I feel like it's representative of my year in reselling in 2021. Another thing that I like to get done on Sundays is our grocery shopping. I did a terrible job at this last week and kind of managed throughout the week by just doing like small grocery shops. That's not what I love to do, but we live fairly close to a couple of grocery stores. So I made it work. We also went through a whole bunch of random things in the fridge and the cupboard, but today I really need to do grocery shopping. I use a tool called That Clean Life to help me figure out my meal plan for the week and it automatically populates a grocery list, which is amazing. And I also probably wanna do some Christmas baking this week. So I'm gonna add that into our plan as well. <music> I 
dropped off my packages, my groceries are all done, and I enjoyed a really great walk while listening to a super fun podcast. I was listening to Nicole Byer's podcast called Why Won't You Date Me? I just watched her comedy special on Netflix last night, and I was like, oh yeah, Nicole has a podcast. So I listened to a couple of episodes while I was out, and it was great. This is how I like to plan my week. If you have any rituals on Sundays or any other days that you set your plan or your intentions for the week, I would love to hear what you do down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you're not already subscribed, now would be an awesome time to do so. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.